see a white house in Belgravia. 14, no, 16. Wilton Crescent. A piano. Yes, that's all correct and rather amazing. But I don't buy it. Because I'm a rational man who believes in a rational world. Any other way lies madness. You, you'd be happier if I was a fraud, because then your whole fixed worldview wouldn't be shaken up. No, it's quite the opposite. If you knew how much I don't want you to be a fake. That's a scene from Magic in the Moonlight. Lana Archibald and Dave Adams are in to review it today. Lana, if you're going to give the book report synopsis on what this is about, what is this about? Uh, Colin Firth uh, plays a magician, uh, I guess an uh, Asian-based magician. Right, illusionist. Illusionist, uh, who's called in to debunk, to debunk uh, Emma Stone's character, who's a mystic, and her mother is uh, Marcia Gay Harden. Mm -hmm. And uh, he comes in and... Everything that, that Emma Stone's character is, is pretty convincing. And Colin Firth is uh, on, uh, a skeptic, a rational man, yeah, a non-believer. Right. Yeah, and so in instead of having a crisis of faith, he has a crisis of reason. Okay. Yeah, and uh, and then the the two, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, have it's a, it's a battle of wits, basically, sure. uh, mm. under the guise of a romantic comedy. Well, <laughs> it is a romantic <laughs> comedy too, and the 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 the, the, the take. <coughs> pardon me. The takeaway is that love is magic in the yeah. moonlight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, he is, as, uh, as, as Len was saying, uh, a rational man, Colin Firth character, a rational man in a rational world. And he, he, while he's an illusionist, um, he understands the, the fakery that goes with that and presumes that everyone else, including Emma Stone, the psychic, or the wannabe psychic, or the claim to be a psychic, is a, is a fraud as well. But as Len correctly says, he has a crisis of rationality. Right. Uh, this is a film that is 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 um, motiv is motivated by, or it, it moves forward with the language, with the lines yeah. that the, the various characters have, uh, written by Woody Allen. And there are some very good ones in there. Uh, uh, Colin Firth, for example, talking to uh, to Emma Stone, she has mistaken a quote, uh, which was from Shakespeare, so that it was Dickens. <laughs> and so yeah. he says, "Don't despair." Uh, Colin first speaking to Sophie, Emma, Emma Stone's character. Don't despair, your intelligence can be raised. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's not condescending. And she least. says later on, explaining uh, something about her own private life as a young woman, I never had time to fall in love, uh, Emma Stone says. My mother and I are members of the working class. Right. <laughs> <laughs> love is just for yeah. rich people. It's good. Well, now, Len, the, I know the two main ingredients you always look for are good plot and characters that we can connect with. Did we have those ingredients? It, it, you know, it was, it was a good plot. Yeah. It, this is one of the more lighthearted Woody Allen yeah. movies. This, I mean, this, this is kind of more of a disposable fluff kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, this isn't, this is uh, I, I guess, uh, in the realm of, I would say, um, you know, uh, and Annie Hall, or or even uh, Paris or, at midnight, or uh, yeah, midnight in Paris, called, yeah. or anything like that. But I mean, it was you know, it's 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 good disposable fluff. Uh, the characters, uh, it's it's basically the the Colin Firth and Emma Stone show. Sure. The, the rest of the characters surrounding them, in, in my opinion, are kind of a little bit one note. Uh, but 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 they're the fun. Well, what's his name? Is one note because he's always playing the, the ukulele, <laughs> <laughs> literally one singing, note, yeah. singing <laughs> songs about poor me. Yeah. yeah. But 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 the, the 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 chemistry between Colin Firth and Emma Stone is undeniable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very good. And it's it's very good. I you know Woody Allen has always had a a, a, a penchant for for writing uh, amazing roles for women. Uh, you know, like Diane Keaton or whatever. Sure. And uh, I, I think he might have stumbled on something with Emma Stone because she's fabulous. In she's very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're all very good. Yeah. They're attractive. They're smart. Uh, the, the photography is very, very elegant and lovely. Yeah. Uh, it takes place in 1928 in the south of France, and you know what's not to like. It's, it's right. beautiful to look at. Yeah, just just based on the fact that it's in France. Sure. Yeah. Let's go to the Lenny scale. What are we giving it? I, I give it. I give it a. Three and a half out okay. of five. Oh, what a what a what a, what a, <laughs> well, well, what a I, guy! I, well, I, 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 th I think just just I, I wanted to give it a four, but like I said, I think it's it, some of the characters just weren't completely fleshed out. You're allowed to do out. what you want to do. You are a tough guy. Let's I, give I, your I, 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 Dave your final words. And my final words are a bit more upbeat. Colin Firth, Emma Stone, Moonlight, Shining Above, Woody Allen's Romance, Magic, or is it Love? All right, fellas, thank so you so much. One. Appreciate yeah. it. All right, thank we'll you. be back right after this. Satisfy your sweet tooth this summer at